Hey, welcome to the channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so if you'd like to. Also check out my other channel. It's Snappy's Electric Jams. I'll leave a link for that in the description below if you just want to screw around sometime and listen to me BS. I'm a registered polysomnographic technologist, otherwise known as a sleep tech, and uh, you could probably call this video a rant. Look, I get a little ticked off sometimes. Uh, I get a lot of people when I'm doing uh, consultations through my website, axgsleepdiagnostics.com, they say, man, sure I'm getting a lot of deep sleep here, a lot of that deep sleep, like REM. I get a lot of REM deep sleep. <laughs> Nothing drives me nuts more than that, and I'll tell you why. REM sleep is not deep sleep. It is actually quite light sleep. So to get to the bottom of this little issue I'm having here, where I'm not very tolerant of this, is uh, because I've been working in the field for so long. Let me show you exactly what I see on a daily basis so we can all be on the same page and understand what true deep sleep is and what lighter sleep is. Now, this is all being pulled off of my website. It is freecpapadvice.com, and you can find it under one of the sections. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Anywho, this example we're looking at right here is a stage of wake. Now, this is called an epic. This is a 30-second 30 30 second page. is called one epic. Some dorks call it an epoch. We make fun of them. Don't do that. What we're seeing here is, this is alpha. Alpha denotes someone who's laying there with their eyes closed, but they're not yet asleep. Now, someone with their eyes open, it looks like this little period right in here. And I say that because this L-E-O-G, that's the left eye, you can see how it pinches in. That's more, more likely than not them opening their eyes, doing a little blinky blink and then closing them again. So you can see how it really attenuates the signal. But when their eyes are closed, really high. It looks like a caterpillar going across the screen. Let's check out light sleep. This is stage one. What we see is a mixed frequency, low voltage. I'm talking about this like F3, C3, C4, O2. Mixed frequency, low voltage, really low. These two lines right here, that line and this line, that is denoting 75 microvolts and negative 75 microvolts. It is well under that. We also have slow rolling eye movements. Now stage one is going to account for about 5% of the night. If you have a higher percentage than 5%, like way higher, it's probably because your sleep is highly fragmented, meaning you're waking up a lot. People tend to bounce back into stage one often when they do that. So if you see a high percentage of N1 sleep or stage one sleep, probably really fragmented sleep. Okay, stage two. Stage two is also kind of considered, it's kind of like crap sleep. No one really knows what it's for, but it comprises 50% of the night, five zero percent of the night. That's a lot. So during this period of sleep, you're gonna see things called sleep spindles. That is, sure looks an awful lot like wake, doesn't it? These little bursts of activity. Stage two has a lot of those little caterpillars in them. They're, they're supposed to not last too long when they're in that, otherwise it, it basically is wake. But you also have these K complexes, sharp negative followed by a sharp positive deflection, and they really stand out from the background. This is a nice K complex, but we have a ton of sleep spindles. So sleep spindles, K complexes, very much indicative of N2 sleep. And I would be a bad, bad boy if I did not mention that this video and this channel is sponsored by CPAPsupplies.com. If you're using CPAP and your sleep is kind of garbagey, and you've already had a consultation with me so you know everything's good, but you're like, man, my mask is terrible. I don't like this mask at all. Maybe consider getting a new mask from CPAPsupplies.com. Look at this. They have a huge selection of masks. Look at all these masks you can get. Tons of different masks. Look at this, the Fisher and Paykel Oracle. That's a studly mask if that's something that you need because you can't make any other full face mask work, yet you need a full face mask. Let's look at that. Probably one of the lesser known masks out there, and that is cheap. If we add this baby to our cart and we do one other thing, we go to the cart, we view the cart, we apply a discount code, and we go lefty 20. Now I'm not good at math, but that's $15.10 off the order. 
that's a good deal for doing absolutely nothing on your part. Now let it be known that CPAPsupplies.com supports the content of this channel. They bring you all of this information so you get it for free. And if you feel so inclined, throw them a bone, buy a mask from them, maybe pick up some cleaning accessories or other accessories. You need a machine, maybe check them out there. Any kind of mask parts, pick them up there. Need some mask cushion replacements? Whatever you need, check out the sponsor of this channel, CPAPsupplies.com. Thank you so much for sponsoring this channel. Now moving right along, we have REM sleep. Now look at the difference. Look at the chin right here, EMG2, EMG3, this is your chin. Do you see how high that is? Now let's look at stage two. Do you see how it still has a level of highness? And then we go to REM, and the signal sucks, but it's supposed to be like really pencil thin. Should be very pencil thin. So what we have here in REM, REM stands for rapid eye movement, so left and right EOG. You can see these very, very sharp, sharp movements. Sharp, sharp, all of this stuff is super sharp. They're also gonna be asynchronous, meaning they're opposite each other. So this is exactly what you're seeing. Very, very good representation of sharp REM eye movements. So look at this, look at the, uh, the F3, C3, C4, O2. By the way, F, F3 is gonna be right about in this area. C3 is gonna be right about in this area. And then O, I'm gonna just go O1, because O2 is gonna be on the other side, but O2 is back I'm sorry, 01 is right about in this area. Back of your head. So all of these, these signals look very much like, I'm gonna go to stage one again. Doesn't it kind of look the same? As far as your brain activity, it looks pretty similar. So REM sleep is actually really light. People can wake up out of REM very, very easily. This is also when you tend to dream. People will remember dreams, like a video of dreams. It's very different from stage three delta sleep. But in REM, your, your body no longer has that paralysis. You'll get little twitches. People can have REM behavior disorder where they're actually acting out their dreams, but a lot of little body twitches and stuff. In fact, when people enter REM sleep, you typically, I notice people have this big, like big herky-jerky body movement. Very, very interesting. Um, but that's REM sleep. REM sleep is known for memory and concentration. In studies where people have been deprived of REM sleep, they tend to have crap memory and crap concentration. So if you're being treated with CPAP and you notice, man, I still have a crap memory and bad concentration, I just feel this like memory fog, and, uh, it's probably because your REM sleep is highly fragmented. You want me to solve that? Consultation on axgsleepdiagnostics.com. Boom, I said it. All right, let's move on to Delta. Now notice the distinct difference right here. Bam, that is Delta. Look at how slow this is. Delta sleep is very, very slow, slow wave. People call it slow wave sleep. If I were to show you a kid, a child in delta sleep or N3 sleep, you'd be jealous. It's like insanely slow. It's much slower than this even. Really, really high peaks. Looks like people are drawing little mountaintops. It's a good way to look at it. Everything is really, really slowing down. Delta sleep or stage three sleep, deep sleep, so that's, this, that's what this video is about. Deep sleep is known for having a musculoskeletal uh, healing, we should say. G human growth hormone is released during this, so think of it as a, a body repair cycle. REM sleep, if you're a computer, a disc defragmentation, it's organizing your thoughts, you're having dreams, with all those weird little thoughts just spurting off. Delta sleep, some people report dreams in it, but when you ask them what's the dream about, it's more like they remember a picture. They don't really have a dream. There's no actual like video associated with it. It's like a snapshot. So people don't really seem to actually dream during Delta, more of a snapshot. What other fun stuff happens in slow wave sleep? Well, this, you can have a marching band go through your room and you're probably not gonna hear it, especially with kids, very true with kids. Very hard to wake up out of. If you do wake up out of it, this is typically when you feel really groggy. It takes you about 30 minutes to fully come out of it. Really hard to wake up out of this. But if you do, it really, really sucks. Now, what are some other things that are interesting about slow wave sleep? This is where you have uh, a lot of parasomnias. You'll have bedwetting, you'll have sleep tears or night tears, sleep walking, you'll have Things like, uh, these are the things where you wake up and, you're, and you're, you're trying to have sex with a house plant. A lot of weird things in there. Now here's something else with Delta sleep. Usually it occurs during the first third of the night. 
you'll have stage one, you first fall asleep, you go into stage two for a period, then you have like your long period of delta sleep, slow wave sleep, and you're pretty much done with it. That's, a, that's about it. You're gonna get your, your 25% uh, delta sleep right in there. What's also interesting is oftentimes, sleep disordered breathing, if you have it, isn't as pronounced there. A lot of people during delta sleep, even if they have severe apneas, kind of goes away there. You will still have loud snoring, but for whatever reason, apneas often go away. All right, now if you feel like, man, I should be, I, you know, I am having Delta because I have consolidated sleep during the first third of the night, what the hell's going on? Well, we have another problem there. That is called Alpha Delta sleep. Now this is a good snapshot of Alpha Delta sleep. Now people that have fibromyalgia will often have Alpha Delta sleep just like this. Uh, what it is is Delta sleep, but superimposed on those are those damn sleep spindles. Alpha, alpha intrusion. Now what sucks about this is it seems like, and I don't know this, this is my own theory, it seems like fibromyalgia and alpha delta sleep are associated. Think of the symptoms of fibromyalgia, you have chronic pain, a lot of musculoskeletal system problems, not healing. So if you're being deprived of stage three or deep sleep, this is where you look. Now there's been studies on medication and things that you can try. I'm not real well versed with that. I have to look it up again, but it seems like there are some medications that can possibly help with this, but to my knowledge, nothing really conclusive at this point. I'm just bringing attention to it, you know, doing absolutely nothing about it, but letting you know about it. Real helpful, Jason. Yes, you're welcome. Okay, now let's take a quick step back because we were kind of talking about percentages. REM sleep right here, you're gonna have about 25% of the night should be in REM sleep. Delta sleep, 20 to 25%, so that comprises 50% roughly. Stage two sleep, remember that's roughly 50%. Stage one, about 5%. If you look on your sleep study and those are all off, with the exception of if you're like super old, because then your delta sleep is gonna be really attenuated. All of these waves are gonna be much, much, much smaller. It might be your version of slow wave sleep or deep sleep, um, but overall it's gonna be attenuated. And oftentimes in a sleep lab, isn't gonna be scored as delta sleep, it'll be scored as stage two. So you'll see a much higher percentage of stage two. However, if your sleep is highly fragmented, whether you're on CPAP or not, those percentages are all out the window. It just, it completely messes up what's called your sleep architecture or how your sleep is structured. You're supposed to have stage one, two, then three, REM, two, REM, two, <laughs> REM. That's pretty much what the night looks like. You might have a little spattering of some more slow wave sleep later in the night. Okay, are we all clear on that? Right here, screenshot, delta sleep, slow wave, that is deep sleep. REM sleep, light sleep. Stage two, kind of lightish, deepish, mostly crappish, but you need it. Stage one, super light sleep. Wake, not sleep. If you feel like you're not getting the most out of your sleep, like your sleep is not quite optimized with the use of CPAP, please check out my website, axgsleepdiagnostics.com. I do tons of consultations with people using Oscar. It is a PAP therapy analysis reporter. We look at that. I show you all kinds of stuff about your sleep and ways that you can improve it. If you feel like you need that, please consider using my services. So you want to know the secret to having more deep sleep? It's pretty easy. You just got to become a kid again. If that doesn't work, vigorous activity or exercise earlier in the day. And last thing you can do is consolidate your sleep. Avoid sleep fragmentation. You do this by resolving things such as sleep apnea. Good luck. And if you enjoy this content, please leave a comment in the comment section down below. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And thank you very much for watching. Bye. Why does your mask smell like my feet? Pick up some Mask Bright today. Thank you to all watching, but an extra thick thanks, buddy, to Doug Toombs, Jason Georgiades, Matthew Lilly, Mona Swearingen, Chung Chu Chen, Buddy Doris, Patricia Espelong, Ray Troutman, Sarvesh Joshi, and Stuart Hetherington, as well as a big thank you to all my other Patreon supporters and YouTube members. Little tiny thanks, buddy, for you guys.